There's 26 years old here. Meanwhile, here I am watching VTubers at 31. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hear me out. If you're in your late 20s and in your early 30s, you're not old. At least in my opinion. I don't think you're old. I, th I think like late 20s and early 30s is like when your brain is actually like in a state of slowly but surely like your personality and your morals and everything is like g gonna be set in stone eventually thanks i'm in my mid 30s mid 30s is also not old late 30s is also not old i think four like you you can kind of like start using the word old by, by by like when you're when the head of the number is four then i'll be like i guess you 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 you, you can call yourself old maybe just maybe but like medium you know like like I, I i i still would squint a little bit you know like if if you're like in early 40s and you're like I, i'm old like i i i guess like it makes me go i guess and then when your head is five like early 50s i'd be like okay yeah maybe you're old 40 isn't young but not really old yeah i'd say like 20 30 is like still like it's, I, I feel like you're still stepping into easing into adulthood like as in like you know like early 20s you're like barely like, honestly early 20s despite you you leaving your teens you're still kind of a baby you're still kind of a fucking baby not gonna lie st still still very baby and then and then late late 20s is like they they like fucking like throw you into the world and you're still trying to figure out what the fuck is happening you know so i'd say like it's like semi baby but like not as a baby as an early 20 person you know like in like in the grand scheme of things like like late 20s is like when they start throwing you into the world like like hey start getting married hey start getting a stable job and a career blah blah blah, blah. like like that's late 20s and then early 30s is like you slow maybe like st still trying to figure yourself out and having a crisis being confused like uh, am i doing things right uh, <laughs> like uh, and that's gonna happen the, the entire time it's just like am i am i doing things right uh, <laughs> projecting much no i'm not projecting i'm just i'm just explaining why i don't think 30 is that old like i see i see some 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 tweets of like some jokey tweets from like uh from like uh children that are like oh my god my followers are like above 16 they're all my why is my mutual so old they're all like above 16 fucking fossils and i was like 16 huh? <laughs> so <laughs> I, 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 it's actually a, it's actually a good thing, isn't it? That I'm like, my, my standard for old is very high. <laughs> that tweet is beautiful. Kind of jealous when seeing younger people successful than you are when you are old. It feels like your life is wasted. There's no such thing as a wasted life. Whatever choice you made in your life is always going to be what choice you made. You made that choice. And that's good. It's just what you're going to do with it, and like with with the path that you've already made, you know. There's no right or wrong way to live your life. There's no there's no guide to living your life. There's no like like sure there's like guides that you can follow, as in like you can look at other people and go, oh, I should do that with my life, you know. But 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 like your life is your life, and if you want to live it in a specific way that you want to, go ahead. But for the most part, there's no like, here's the right way to live your life. So, if you see someone that's like younger and success more successful than you, probably shouldn't take it as a, oh man, my life has been wasted because everybody has a very different path on how they deal with their lives. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to just be thrown to like, being thrown into the, li into the world and figure out what you want to do with your life immediately. Some people are fortunate enough to be able to figure out what they want to do in their life in a very early age and some people just have to figure that out for a little bit longer and mess around a little bit longer and that's okay. That's alright. I understand that. Don't, don't be ashamed of that, please. <laughs> 
like like be, being able to figure out your passion in life and w what you want to what, what what your goal is is like is, is actually a lot harder than you think like sure like like people make it seem like it's simple but it's actually pretty fucking hard because <laughs> it's like like it's such a heavy question if you think about it right like what do you want to do for the rest of your life like they start asking those kind of questions by the time you're like at high school it's like well, well i don't know <laughs> And also, it changes all the time. Like, whatever you want to do. Like, like some, like, some that's why, like, your dreams as a kid changes, right? Like, you from a kid, you're like, oh, I want to be a, an astronaut. And then when you grow up, you realize, oh, I don't really want to be an astronaut. I want to be a this. I want to be a that. Like, goals change for everyone. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint one thing that you really want to go for in your life. Because, like, you know, you just got to find that one person one thing that you really burns your passion and really gets you going gets your gears going and makes you like really excited to wake up in the morning you know that's hard finding that thing is hard you have to, you got to try a lot of new things in your life to be able to find that one thing it's hard and it's okay if you have a hard time doing it and it's okay if other people have an easier time doing it that's fair <laughs> like 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 some people just have like the like opportunity to be able to try many things from a younger age i think that's how i think about it personally like maybe they have a more loving family and such and like their environment actually supports uh like them trying all sorts of hobbies in a very early age therefore it allows them to be very successful in a very young age because they've figured out what they wanted to do in a very young age in a supportive environment Maybe your environment wasn't actually that supportive of, like, you trying all sorts of things. Like, maybe your parents were, like, screaming at you to fucking focus on school that you didn't even get to try any other extracurriculars in school and you didn't actually get to figure out, oh, like, oh, that, turns out I like to draw <laughs> or something like that. That's like my dad. Like, it took a while for my dad to realize, oh, turns out I like to draw. <laughs> like, uh, because he, like, uh, like... What happened was that uh, my dad writes for the most part of his life and uh, he, that's kind of what he's always been doing. He, he likes it, but he never knew that it's possible to kind of like like multiple things and like, you know, be able to focus on two things at once, you know? Like it doesn't always have to be all writing, isn't it? So as a kid, I liked drawing. I always liked drawing. So therefore I like kept drawing in front of him and he was like, can I draw with you? Like, can I try this, like, you know, digital tablet stuff? And I was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And, and, and he did, and he liked it. So we draw together sometimes back then, back when we were like still living together. And he slowly but surely got to learn to art. And I was like, and he would like ask me like, Is, how, like how do I, how do I do this thing? How do I do that thing? And I'd be like, oh yeah, it's like this, this, and this. So like, you know, again, it depends on the environment you're living in, you know? If you don't have, like, the person that always is going to support you, no matter what, about your new endeavors, it's gonna be hard to, like, try it. And that's okay. Please don't be sad about, like, living your life and not figuring out what you're passionate about and seeing other people being successful in a younger age, because it's so there's so many factors into your life that makes it hard to just... everyone for everyone to have, like, a, the same exact path, you know? It's all right. Everybody has their own speeds. Everybody has their own, uh, you know, thing to deal with. Like, sure, like, if you look at someone that's successful at a young age, they're probably struggling with all sorts of things we don't know, you know? Everybody has their struggles, too. Just because they may look successful from our POV, like, what if they're, like, you know, struggling with, you know, other things? It's scary. Like, you know, it's not always sunshines for everyone. There's nobody that's truly, like, not struggling. Probably even the richest of people are struggling with something out there, you know? Let's all be sympathetic towards each other, yeah? <laughs> sorry for the ramble. I'm sorry for... I'm such a mom. <laughs> I'm sorry for being such a mom. I just... I just... I just feel so sad whenever people who are, like... Who reach a certain age and like start looking at someone younger and go oh oh like oh my life wasted because no why would you say that don't say your life is wasted it makes me very depressing and sad <laughs> Wee! 
I like your point of view in life. Oh, thank you. I just, I just, I just want you guys to to take it, take everything like you know, take everything slow, enjoy life. Don't, 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 don't ever think your life is a waste. Nobody's life is a waste. Okay, enjoy life. What? Thirty-one here, still figuring out my stable career path is for me for a long run. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like that's also a, a thing too. Like, already having like somewhat of a stable career path, but like still unsure about like whether or not you want to do that for for the long run that's fair that's fair that's a fair thing to think about i really needed that hana thanks you're welcome hope you're all right chat <laughs> pat pat head pats you <laughs> sometimes the career that gets you money uh, to do sometimes the career gets you money to do the hobbies you want that's true exactly that can also be a motivation if you hate your job but the job gives you money to be able to support like a hobby that you might you might like a lot then that that could be like a motivation for your job you know i've been going through, through some hard things like that and i need to hear something like that thank you hana oh oh it got me the money but i had no time or energy there will be time eventually okay there'll be time eventually that's how i feel about streaming too like, I, I work really hard on college and stuff and, and trying not to fail. <laughs> but like, knowing that one day I'll be able to stream again and sit down and chill with you guys, it makes me very, like, happy, you know? It'll have, it'll, I'll be able to stream eventually. <laughs> I'll have time eventually. And then boom, then I have time and then I stream. Guerrilla. Because, you know, I don't really know exactly when I have the time. <laughs> Managing time is hard. <laughs> Managing time is hard, man. There's too many things to to uh, juggle. Like the amount of times I woken up in the morning just in absolute true sweat thinking I like missed my class. And turns out it's a freaking Sunday. <gasps> <laughs> Makes me feel so stupid. Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how that's how hard that's how, that's how hard life is you know management time management escapes me and i get scared <laughs> just wake up like i like it happens a lot like waking up in cold sweat thinking you're <laughs> you're, you're you're late to something i'm glad that it's a very re relatable content where i even have a nightmare i failed my exam yeah i get dreams about like my everyday life too 